Hello, welcome. Welcome back if you're a current subscriber. Welcome if you're new. So I have a little bit of a different video today. I've been seeing that people are, I know I saw Alexis's video. She did this a little differently, but I thought, okay, this is a fun idea. So Alexis, thank you. Um, so today is Friday. I'm going to post this today. So we're going to go through the Teddy Bees pre-order. So I actually have scents that I have right now or I've worn them. So I'm going to let you know kind of what my thoughts are for this pre-order, whatever. And please let me know because I probably won't order tonight personally because I have to work at seven. So I'm not exactly sure if I'll get my order placed. I'm hoping at some point through the night when I go on break, I'll get my order placed. So if you have a favorite, let me know why you're going to snag it. And maybe I'll add that to my list, at least in a souffle. So let's start with her list. Bakery and is it her least? Brown sugar, caramel powdered sugar, bakery dough, sugared moss, bottom notes of sweet woods. I am gonna snag this in a souffle. I'm not gonna go bigger only because I've heard really great things, but I, I, I haven't had time to go on her Facebook because of work to see what people think of it warmed. So at this point, I think I'm gonna stick with a souffle. Let me know your thoughts if you've worn that one. Then bakery dump cake. I know, or bakery, blueberry dump cake. I know that was on her last um, RTS. It was an add-on. Like for her, she always, when she does her RTSs, which is ready to ship, she adds a bunch of new scents, and then those always sell out. So I don't usually try for them because I'm like, if they're really popular, I'm hoping that she's going to bring them back in the pre-order, which she did. So blueberry dump cake is fresh blueberries, crisp cake topping, hints of warm spice and vanilla. I'm going to order a tub in a souffle. A friend of mine that's local wants a tub of it, so I'm going to add it to the order, and then I think I'm going to try it in souffle. The reason being is that I'm not the biggest blueberry fan, but I am I really have found that I like blueberries from Teddy Bee's because she uses a juicy blueberry, and the rest of those notes sound amazing to me. Bonfair and Nights. Now, I thought, hang on. I was looking at these and was like, I thought I had this scent. And oh, I do have it. Okay, so Bonfire Nights, and this is was this was before she started doing the lids. This one is Bonfire's Cashmere Vanilla Sandalwood Roasted Marshmallows. Now I have a tub. I'm not gonna order any more because this tub is from July of 2022, and I still haven't warmed it. So this is very smoky. And very messy. What are the other scent notes in this? I do smell smell cashmere. I do smell sandalwood and roasted marshmallow. This is very pretty. If you like a smoky scent that's a little bit more creamy with the sandalwood, the cashmere and the roasted vanilla or roasted marshmallow, I think you would enjoy this. But I definitely think this is a smoky scent. And as you can see, I've not even warmed it. Sometimes you won't see a scent for a while, so that's why I will order them if I can snag them. So, again, I probably would have been fine, but this was probably from last year's pre-order, and I wanted to make sure I had it for fall. So this is my plan to warm through this. I won't be adding any more unless I warm this before the RTS. So a tub is going to last me quite a while. So there is that one. And then, let's see, I didn't get the browned butter and praline that she offered last time. Now, I really do like Sensi's Pralines blend, so I actually am going to grab a tub in this. My son's going to be getting off the bus in a minute, so you probably are going to hear the dogs bark. So I'm going to write. So this is usually what I do for my order. So I will highlight the ones that I want, and then usually I cross off the ones that I already have, and I will write have tub. So when I go through this list, I can be like, Okay, I already have this, and what size do I have? Because if I had a souffle and I really loved it, well, then I would go and order a tub in the pre-order. So, like I said, I'm going to order bakery and lice. I'm going to do souffle, blue blueberry dump cake, a tub, and a souffle for me. Bonfire nights I already have, brown butter and praline. I'm actually going to grab a tub in that one, I think, because I love praline. So, this is a blend of praline, candy, vanilla cream, toasted pecans, pecans, melted butter, and the slightest warmth of cinnamon in the background. Now, if memory serves me right, this was another one that she had in her last RTS that sold out. So I'm going to go and look at people's posts before I place my order tonight or tomorrow, um, because that will help me determine if someone's warmed it. 
So then the next one is Catacomb of the Witch, which is Dark Plums, Rich Vanilla, Black Amber, Bonfire Bliss, and Vanilla Woods. I think I'm going to pass on that because I have several of her blends, Twisted Witch. Some of these scents that she hasn't brought back since she did them in an RTS that have this dark plum and sounds very similar. Let me know your thoughts. I could be persuaded to grab a souffle if you would like me to and review it. So that one, I'm going to put a question mark and then put an S by it because maybe I'll grab a souffle because I do like her dark plum blends. And again, amber, I'm okay with. Bonfire Bliss, I like that. in a vanilla woods, that kind of maybe would give a little bit of smokiness. Sounds great. I've never had it. So these are returning scents. So if you've had that, let me know your thoughts. Okay, Christmas cookies was one that I really, really wanted more of. I've warmed through one tub and then I have this tub. This is an assortment of baked cookies, powdered sugar, buttercream, pine, and warm spices. I've told you, well, actually, I have all these pulled for, I'm going to do my, uh, a collection of my Christmas collection video, like we did with our fall video. I have all of my Christmas scents pulled and I'm hoping to record that this weekend. But this is a beautiful, I get more cookie than I, and buttercream than I do pine. So if you don't love tree, this would be one that I would say grab because again, I get more of those sugar and buttercream notes than I do the pine. Even on warm, the pine is, um, it's just a perfect amount. I wouldn't be opposed to more pine in this, but I know a lot of people don't love, love tree scents. So if you love bakery and you're a little hesitant because of the pine, don't be because this isn't overpowering on the pine. Okay. I'm going to order. This one I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to do two loaves because I love these kind of blends for Christmas. And, oh, I'm thinking, is that my son? That was the other bus, so he should be coming, and then you'll hear my dogs bark. So I'm going to order two loaves in this. This is a favorite of mine. I got this last year, and I warmed half a tub, and I was obsessed with it, and I've been hoarding it. So I don't want to hoard it. So I am going to, and this was one I requested, so Tiffany, thank you for putting that on there. And I'm not the only one. I'm not saying that like, oh, she did it for me. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it's awesome. Okay. Christmas trees and cream. I think one of, if you guys go back and watch my original hauls from Teddy Bees, I think this was on my first or second order and I became obsessed with this. Now you're going to see the strawberry trees and cream. I requested the heck out of that. If you voted for that, thank you so much. I absolutely love this. This is, again, I've been obsessed with buttercream. So this is fresh pine waffle or Vanilla waffle cone and rich buttercream. If you love any of these notes, I highly, highly suggest this one or and or the strawberry trees and cream. Now I have a loaf and a tub in this. So I'm going to write that down. Have L plus tub. I am actually going to grab one more loaf because again, I would like to have two to warm through this winter. And if I have, I want some left because then I'm never stressed. But if she doesn't pour it, but this one she has poured the last three years, I believe. You guys, this is beautiful. If you love, you definitely do get the pine in this. I do get the waffle cone and I do get the buttercream. This is a beautiful, beautiful Christmas sweet blend. I just think this is, this is one of my staples again. Okay. Cider cookies is next. I think I'm going to grab a souffle in that one because I have had it before. Um, and unless I go through my Teddy B's um, like old orders. And if I did, if I do that and um, cannot, today and I find out that I ordered it and I don't have it in my collection and I de-stashed it, then I will not order it because then that means I didn't love it when I got it. Okay. Nothing wrong, but I just, I'm not going to reorder scents that I didn't, that I de-stashed. So cider donuts or cider cookies. And I did have a cider blend of hers. It's sugared cider and it's pretty similar. This one is apple cake, donut, cinnamon, caramel, and sugar cookies. Well, that all sounds amazing. So if you've had that, how does that one warm? Because I could be persuaded to get a souffle in that one. Okay, cookies for Santa. I have been requesting this. My bag was from 2021 and I did finish that. It is a blend of frosted sugar cookies and milk and cookies. This is a favorite, favorite of mine for the holidays. And actually, I would actually warm this anytime. I don't feel that it's specific to Christmas because you have frosted sugar cookies and milk and cookies, which are two great cookie blends. I just absolutely love it. It's it's seriously a favorite. The bag that I had, like I said, was really old and I have, I warmed it the last two years and I'm like, I really need it because she didn't pour it last year. If memory serves me right. Cause I didn't have, my bag was older. It was the chunk bags. 
I know she hasn't done those for two years. So I am going to actually probably order at least a loaf, but I might order two. I know this is going to be a crazy, um, order list for me. And you're going to see the new ones. I'm really kind of conflicted on what I'm going to order because I've never tried them. And I'm, I told you, I'm trying to stick with scents that I really love. So I probably will get two loaves of that one. Country Christmas. I couldn't find this, but this sounds great. Balsam fir, butter cookies, sweet spruce, and a hint of cinnamon and clove. I for sure am going to grab a souffle in that because I think that would be a really pretty blend and I could probably use it two times in my open concept. Let me know if you've worn these that I don't have because it will just help all of us. Okay, cozy cookie cake. I actually have a loaf in a tub. So I don't know if I'm going to order more of this, but I really want to highlight this to you because this is a sleeper scent. I think this is a fabulous, fabulous scent. This is warm iced white cake, beach treats, marshmallow fireside, and signature sugar cookies. Now I did grab my tub of just plain signature sugar cookies, which I think her cookie and her bakery blends are so good. This is just a smoky cookie but it comes alive when you warm it. Cause when I smell this, I'm, I'm cold. I'm like, I don't understand this. And then I warmed it last year for the first time when I got this. And this is just the smokiness in this with the bakery is so good. Um, so if you haven't tried cozy cookie cake, at least try a souffle and warm it. Don't judge this one until you actually warm this because it is fantastic. Oh my gosh. It's so good. I might grab one tub in that because like I said, I have a loaf in a tub, but that's a favorite of mine from fall until spring. So that's usually when I warm that because you do get the smokiness on warm. Okay. So uh, crushed candy cane. Now I do not have crushed candy cane on its own. I did have it at one point, but I do have her Christmas trees and cream with crushed candy cane. So this is a split. This is from last year. So I'm just going to smell the top because the bottom is the Christmas trees and cream and the top is the crushed candy cane. This is a beautiful peppermint blend. Um, there are several vendors that do this. So uh, Sassy Girl Aromas North Pole, Harper James has at the North Pole. All of those smell like that to me. So if you can't, should it, if you don't get it in this pre-order, you can always get it from some other vendors. This is the best creamy peppermint scent. I don't know if I'm going to get it because I have some already from Sassy Girl Aroma. But if you love Teddy Bees versus, you know, any other vendors or if it's performance, then I then do what you'd like. I'm not going to grab any more of that, like I said, because I already have some and I have enough, I think, right now. Okay, Fall into Christmas. I don't have this one. It's vanilla pumpkin, buttered rum eggnog, and buttered sugar. I think. I think I'm going to grab a souffle. I really do like her eggnog. I like rum. I, I love vanilla and well, van I should say pumpkin blends. So I do think I'm going to grab a souffle in that one only because I really do enjoy her eggnog. Okay. My dogs are going to bark because here comes my son. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, they're going to bark, and then I'm going to have to talk to him because he's going to ask me where I am. But let's get back to gingerbread ice cream and cake. If you love buttercream, if you like cake and you like gingerbread, this is beautiful. I don't think I'm going to grab any more because I, I have this tub, and there's another gingerbread in here that I think I'm going to grab instead of this one. And I do have some other, when I was going through my holiday scents, I do have a lot of gingerbread scents that I love. So I think because I have a tab, I'm not going to grab this one. But if you like those scent notes, I would highly recommend that one. Okay, holiday. I don't have this. I saw several people posting how much they wanted this back and it hasn't been back for a couple years. So I'm super happy that if you wanted this, this came back for you. I am going to grab this. The scent of Rees hanging, cookies baking, winter garland, and warm fireplace. I'm actually going to grab a loaf in this because those scent notes sound right up my alley. I love bakery. I love a little bit of like maybe the warmth fireplaces in the background. And then I'm going to smell the wreath note, which I love any kind of tree wreath notes. 
I don't like spicy blends or like two cider blends, but this one just sounds fantastic, especially with the cookie edition. If you've worn this, again, I want your feedback. Please comment, okay? Um, next up is John Snow, which Jen A, she actually gifted to, this to me. I hadn't had this. This is Palo Santo flannel sheets, creamy vanilla, and mint. If you love flannel sheets, any of these blends, you definitely get the flannel sheets in the Palo. That's what I'm picking up on. The mint is more in the background. I definitely smell more of the first two scents in this. This is beautiful. It's a scent that you'd put on on a cold evening. It's just cozy. It's comfortable. I really like this. So Jen, thank you for sending me this. I'm not going to grab any more because normally I would get this in a souffle because this is something I would do in my bedroom and bathroom. So this will last me probably four different melts, um, if not more. So I'm super happy to have that. And I'm so glad that she gifted that to me. Now I don't have Kiss Me Goodnight. I'm not sure about this one. Cozy Cashmere Blankets. Now I like cashmere blends, but they're not my favorite. Warm, slightly woody notes mixed with vanilla hints of plum and hot tea and warm amber. I Right now, I think I'm going to pass on that again. If you have worn that, let me know. Um, obviously, it made it on the list, so it must be popular. But remember, her list is going to be a mixture of everybody's favorites, not just bakery. <laughs> like mine would be all be bakery. So that one, I don't think I'm going to grab. Now, this one I do have. It's Modern Farmhouse, but this one is not going to stay with me. I actually cut this. This is from last February. I ordered this because a lot of people love this. And this is Tonka and Oud, Vanilla Birch, and Egyptian Amber. Mm -mm. It is pretty, but it's a little bit too perfume for me. I like Oud, but I don't think I like all of these together because it just smells more perfume. It's very classy. It's very elegant. But again, I'm a bakery girl. Now, I saw someone post on Teddy B's, and this is so messy. I'm going to send this, but it was messy to begin with. This was when it was part of her blocks, I think, or maybe it was a tub, and I actually it was a tub, and I cut it because I was trying to warm through my older wax, but I didn't, I cut it. I didn't use any of this, I don't think. No, I know I didn't because I was trying to warm it, and every time I went to grab it, I was like, I'm not interested. Uh, so... I'm going to gift this and this is going to be sent out, but I wanted to get this video recorded A because it's Friday and B because I'm going to ship this out on Monday. So if you like these kind of scents, cause I know the person that I'm gifting this to loves it obviously. So I, she's going to enjoy it versus me having it and being like, I, I, I don't want to warm it cause I don't love it. So that again, her and I were talking and I'm like, I'm just this big bakery girl and she loves all the opposite sense of me. So I was like, gosh, you, this is for you girl. You get it. Um, so obviously I'll, I'll be passing up on that one, but I'm super happy that she's loving that one. All right. Morning cup of Christmas. Now I, I have never had this. It is vanilla chai, cranberry chutney, apple marmalade with a hint of fresh pine. I'm questioning a souffle because a, I love chai blends. Um, I like pine, but the cranberry and the apple, like, tell me if you've warmed this, is this a cider scent. Is this something, if you guys know my preferences, am I going to love this? Cause I don't like coffee, but I do like chai blends. So I might try a souffle. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. Mr. Claus. I've had this before. It's cranberry woods, frosted circus, sugar cookies, and Palo Santo. Now I'm, I'm going to go back and check my first and second videos. Cause I'm like 99% sure I've had, it's either Mr. or Mrs. Claus. So I'm going to go pull those and find out which one I had. If this is the one I haven't had, I will order a souffle. So until I find out, because I can't remember what Mrs. Claus is, because I thought it had cranberry, but I didn't think it had frosted, frosted circus sugar cookies or Palo Santo. So I'm going to go and look and see which one it is. If I haven't had it, I'm going to try this in a souffle just because you know I love her. Anything with her frosted circus sugar cookies, any bakery, I'm all here for that. And it sounds like a perfect winter blend with cranberry woods. I don't necessarily love cranberry woods from Bath and Body. I like a cranberry chutney versus cranberry woods. So I'm a little bit on the fence on that one. Okay, next up is Old Country Store. I believe I've had this in a souffle before. 
I'm going to go back and check my past orders. If I have, I'm not going to order this. But if I haven't, I would grab this in a souffle. So this one is dependent on if I've had it. This is sweet peach preserves, hot apple pies, warm cinnamon, and a slight hint of pine. All of those sound good except peach. I just, to me, it's like, okay, is this a fruity with a little bit of cinnamon and a pine? Like, is this kind of like a cider scent? Again, it sounds great, but that's not my preference. You know, I'm just a bakery snob, okay? So I'm... I'm going to go back and look at my past orders. If, again, if I don't have it, if I no longer have it and I de-stashed it, I will not be reordering because I don't need to order those scents repeatedly. I know my preferences have changed in the last year, but it's only because I'm, I'm liking more floral, not necessarily that I'm liking some of these spice scents, if that makes any sense. Salty lavender. Now, I did have this and I did de-stash it. But I actually am going to order a tub in this. I know Natalie loves this. Um, this is Sweet Lavender Salty Sierra and Toasted Marshmallow. Now, what I will say about that is it's definitely a beautiful lavender. And you get this heavy, salty sea air to me, which I've grown to really like. And then Toasted Marshmallow. So I am actually going to grab a tub in this because I think that'll be a perfect size for my bedroom bathroom. Because that's really the only place that I warm lavender. And I do really remember liking the salty sea or I didn't love the salty sea air, but I really do like salty blends now like Mediterranean Spa from Sensi. Vanilla Waves obviously you know has a salty sea air in it, or salty scent note to it. So I am going to order that in a tub and I'm going to warm it because last time I didn't warm it I just de-stashed it. So I'm going to warm it and obviously if I don't love it I know where it's going to go. All right, Santa Claus is coming to town. I am out of that. I've been asking for this so many times from her. <laughs> So she finally it won the vote. So this is a fresh or the smell of fresh baked cookies, candy canes, and Christmas trees. What I remember is this is a perfect blend of all of them. It's not too minty to me. So I am actually going to order one loaf in this one. I think because I'm not the biggest fan of candy cane like in bakery, I like candy cane alone, but not always with bakery. So I feel like a loaf is going to be very sufficient. And like I said, I believe it was two years ago that she poured that. So if that lasts me this year and next, if she doesn't pour it next year, at least I'll have it for a couple of years. Shadowlands. I'm not going to order this only based on the notes. Uh, earthy notes of dried pompous grass. Is that what it is? Um, powdery tonka bean, soft musk, hints of white currant. I like grass scents. I'm not really sure how I feel about the other scents. So if you've warmed this again, I want to hear your feedback. Otherwise I'm passing on that one. The next one I am going to order is smoked ginger snaps. So that one I'm actually going to order a loaf in because I love ginger scents. Warm gingerbread spice, cardamom, charred wood, roasted pumpkin, and Tahitian vanilla. All of that sounds fantastic to me. So I'm ordering a loaf in that one. Strawberry trees and cream. Okay, I don't want you to judge me, but I'm going to order two loaves. So this, you can add my total if you're that kind of person. I don't really care. Okay, I got a job and... I love Teddy B's Christmas and some of the, the, I haven't had this in two years. So I already showed you her amazing trees and cream and this is tree, Christmas trees and cream with strawberry pound cake. You know that I'm not the biggest lover of strawberry pound cake blends, but I've really been enjoying them lately. And when I had this blend two, three years ago, I don't remember, I think it was 2021. If I can remember from my videos, I absolutely love this. She didn't pour it last year. So again, I want to have enough to warm this year and next year. If she doesn't pour it again next year, I shouldn't do that, but I'm sick and tired of not having some of my favorite blends. So I just figure why not just get this right. All right. Surfside sweet shop. This is birthday cake, marshmallow, cream, butter, cookies, cake, batter, beach treats, which is her beach nights. I have a loaf and a tub. So I'm not going to get this because I have enough. And what I will say, I've shared this multiple times. The first time I got this, unless I reach out and ask Tiffany, but the first time I got this, it was more beach nights heavy and now it's more cookie heavy. That I used to warm this in my bedroom. I had a loaf in it. I absolutely loved that I got more of the beach nights, but because it's more bakery, I it smells, it's a great bakery blend, but I, again, once you love something and it's a little bit different or it's different to me personally, then I, I kind of, it's, kind of disappointing when I warm it because I'm like, where's the beach nights? I can't smell it. Okay. That's just me. You do you. Okay. Uh, the night before Christmas, I don't think I've had this. Um, I'm, I might get a souffle in this one. Okay. The night before Christmas is flannel sheets, warm cashmere, vanilla blended with the 
Secret of Christmas Trees. Again, I like the Jon Snow because it has that flannel in it. And then it, the Christmas tree note kind of intrigues me. So I'm probably going to order a souffle just so I have it. Next up, I'm going to write that I have a souffle in this. And I'm not going to order this because I have it. And this is from last um, February. This is Sea Spray Ocean Water Citrus Damp Leaves Dark Amber Oak Moss. This is such a beautiful, exactly what it is. You get a little bit of dampness. You get a little sea in this. Oh, it's so good. You get, oh, it's just a great aquatic, um, grassy scent to me. I really enjoy this. Um, oh, I just got, I shouldn't, I really enjoy this scent. Oh, it's so pretty. If you like aquatic or like damp, wet leaves, grass kind of scent, I think you would really enjoy this. It almost leans a little, little, little masculine to me, just a hint of it. But if you like masculine, I think you really love this. Okay, Tiff's favorite bakery. Now, I don't have, I used to have it, but I was told that she does, it says blackberry jam. This isn't, no, this is, this has her blackberry jam butter cookies in it. Scratch that. So let's, Tiff's favorite bakery, blackberry jam, vanilla shortbread cookies, brown sugar, and waffle cone. Now, I have had this before. I haven't had it recently. I don't remember if I de this or warm this, but I'm actually going to order a tub in that because I really like the black, um, blackberry butter pecan cookies. And because it has her blackberry jam, I think I'm going to order a tub in that one. Okay. Next up is tricking or treating. I have two souffles in this and I'm not going to order more of this because I have to. Uh, this is trigger and treating purple sugar, which is pink and blue sugar, beach treats and vanilla cake pops. And this is from 2021. And then I have one from last year, I believe last year, or they both could be from 2021. And that just tells me that I'm not warming it and I don't need any more, but it's a beautiful scent with beach treats. And I, I, this is fantastic. You get a little bakery, you get the beach treats and you get a great mixture of blue and pink sugar. It's not too, I don't always love pink sugar alone, but this one I can really get behind. I think this is a great blend, but like I said, I have two souffles. I, I don't know if they're both from 2021, but I'm guessing they are. So I'm just going to pass on that. But if you love those scent notes, I would get that. Okay. Whip Staff Manor. Okay, I if I remember, she said she's having an issue getting one of the oils from the vendor. So this probably won't be on the pre-order. But I do have a tub and a souffle in this. I wasn't going to order any more. Well, I take that back. I was going to order a loaf in it, but now I'm not because she doesn't have it. So this is crisp fall air, cedar wood, crunchy leaves, hints of apple, fall spice, toasted marshmallow, and charred pumpkin. You definitely get, when I warmed this, it was light, but I had just gotten it. And standing over the warmers, I really liked it. Okay, so my battery died, of course, because that's my life. So I'm going to finish where I left off with the new scents. So I am just going to finish with Whipstaff Manor. I did tell you that I believe, I really enjoy this scent, but I think based on, if memory serves me right, she posted she can't get an oil, so she might be po you, uh, pouring it in the RTS, not the pre-order. So just check out her page. I believe that's correct. I haven't been on there because I have been working. Okay, last of the older scents is Witches Be Crazy for Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which is her birthday cake, pecan waffle, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with cupcakes at Tiffany's. I am going to grab, I think, a tub in that one. We'll see. That one might come off my final list, but we'll see. So then let's go to the new ones. Okay, so we have... Uh, wish a witch woods which is fire side marshmallows buttery sugar cookies bonfire embers and palo santo all of that sounds great to me so i i think i'm gonna grab a tub in that only because i love her buttery sugar cookies and then you add the smokiness to that i think that's going to be beautifully blended so i am going to grab a tub in that christmas past is holiday cinnamon fallen leaves crisp apples crushed pine needles with a hint of sweet balsam I think I'm going to pass on this because I think it's going to be a cinnamon heavy, like Michael's kind of scent. And I'm not a fan of that. I think I'm going to pass on that one. So that's where I'm going to go with that. Nutcracker sweet, sugary shortbread cookies, yellow cake, butter or brown sugar and cinnamon butter. If I can talk, this is a long video. Uh, 
I'm gonna order a tub in this. I, again, it's bakery. I love all of those sound notes, so why not? I, I just am going to, I, again, would I have changed my thoughts if Sensi would have done more bakery? Yes, I would have. Because I do have to let her stuff cure for quite a little bit. And sometimes it's more of a medium scent in my open concept, but I'm okay with that. But again, if other vendors are not going, or Scentsy are not gonna make as enough bakery, then I will get it. And because Tiffany does, I believe it's three pre-orders and three RTSs in the year, it's just harder to get her stuff. All right, next up is Witches Be Crazy for Eggnog. I'm gonna order this because I like her Witches Be Crazy blend, and then it's not too pecan waffles for me and then she's adding her vanilla eggnog and buttered eggnog and I really love her eggnog blends. Some eggnogs can go off on my nose. I don't always like them so I'm going to order that. Next up is Basic Witch. Vanilla latte, whipped coffee, roasted marshmallows, pecan waffles, and beach treats. Sounds great if you're a coffee lover. I think that will be awesome for you. I just have found that I am not warming my coffees so I'm gifting those so I just am not going to add any more coffee to my collection. Next up is Carter, which is Smoky Woods, Campfire Marshmallow, White Birch, Palo Santo, Icy Snow, and Vanilla. That sounds like a great birch scent with a little bit of iciness, and I, I'm not sure. It kind of reminds me of Winterfell a little bit. I don't really know because I've never smelt it, but I am going to get a souffle in that and then just see what I think of it. I'm not afraid to get souffles in her pre-order because I'd rather have a souffle and not like it than I can de-stash it than not have it, and then I have to go back for it in the RTS. So I've just learned if I get a souffle, if I don't love it, just de-stash it. Next up is Dream State, which is sweet lavender, pink sugar, vanilla, marshmallow cream. I'm not a fan of pink sugar at all. I've tried multiple times. I just don't love it as much as some of you. And I'm not the biggest lavender fan, and I'm going to grab her salty lavender, so I'm going to pass on this one. Next up is Cozy Lavender Cream. I'm going to pass for the same reason. I'm not the biggest cashmere fan. It's lavender. I'm going to pass. T Wisted Toasted Marshmallow Cookies. Now I've had her toasted marshmallow cookies before. So this is sugar cookie dough, toasted marshmallows, spiced caramel, and birthday cake. I think the caramel is what's different. I'm gonna get a tub in this and then I can really decide if I need more than that after I get it and smell it. Next up is sugared chestnuts and apple butter. Apple butter, brown sugar, toasted chestnuts, clove, and notes of spice. I love all of that. I'm gonna get a souffle because I'm not 100% sure because it could go really good or really, you know, be a little bit too nutty for me. So I'm going to at least try a souffle in that one. Let me know your thoughts on any of these because they're all new. Praline and Woods, toasted pecans or pecans. You know, I live in Wisconsin. Praline candy, spiced white cake blended with soft woods. Woods, nutty, I'm and cake. Well, I'm going to try that in a souffle because all of that sounds great. Next up is Pumpkin Woods. Pumpkin spice, sandalwood, patchouli, tobacco, palo santo, cold winter woods. I'm guessing you know that I'm not going to do that because it has patchouli uh, I, and tobacco. That's just not my vibe. I know a lot of you are going to love that. It's just not for me. And then is the next one, Maraxis, which is sweet plum, saffron, black peppercorns, cashmere cream, and roasted pine cones. I've already said this. She has a lot of plum blends that I love that I already own. But I also have her blends that have black peppercorn that I haven't loved because it kind of gives me a scentsy, ghostly greeting vibe. So I'm just going to pass on that. I think a lot of you are going to love that. That's, again, that's just not for me. Next up is Witches Be Crazy for Pistachio. I do not like pistachio. I've tried multiple, multiple vendors. It's good. It's just, to me, I don't love it. But I know that's going to be popular. So I'm glad that she poured a pistachio. Balsam and cashmere, vanilla, balsam, sugar cookies, cashmere cream, vanilla birch. I love balsam, I love vanilla birch, I love cookies, but I'm not the biggest fan of cashmere, so I'm gonna pass. Peppermint cookies and cashmere, I'm gonna pass. It's peppermint sugar cookies, sugar cookie dough, cashmere cream, and vanilla birch. I just, I'm gonna just stick with them in a pass because I, I'm gonna get the, uh, where is it? My Santa's one with peppermint. Hang on, let me go back. I'm gonna grab, you obviously know, I already said I'm grabbing Chris, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, which is fresh baked cookies, candy canes, and Christmas trees. Uh, that one has more bakery. I'm afraid this one might have more peppermint because of those notes and because the cashmere's in there, I'm just gonna pass. It sounds great though. Next up is Jack's, wet autumn leaves, moss covered oak trees, cedarwood, Hanoki smoke lingering off in the distance. I'm going to try a souffle in that um, because I love like mossy notes. I love autumn leaves. That sounds great. 
uh, the Hinoki Smoke, I, I don't know how that one's going to be, but I'm just interested in trying that. That sounds interesting to me. Christmas is coming. Warm gingerbread cookies, cinnamon sugar pastries, fluffy waffles covered in powdered sugar, hints of cedar, and Fraser fur. I'm going to do a tub in this one. I'm a little afraid of the cedar wood or the cedar and the cinnamon sugar pastries. Sometimes her cinnamon sugar pastries are too heavy for me. So I'm just going to try a tub. Now, I'll tell you at the end that some of these may get crossed off and I'll explain that after. Silver and gold, essential vanilla, sparkling amber, cashmere woods, toasted marshmallows, and pink lavender. I am going to pass that amber, cashmere again, pink lavender. No, those, it's just not my vibe. White woods and smoky vetiver, white oak, cashmere, soft woods, vanilla, palo santo vetiver, and sweet smoke. Again, I don't love some of those notes, so I'm going to pass on that one. Sugar, spice, and fireside. The smell of snickerdoodles, oatmeal cookies, baking in a wood fire oven. I'm going to grab a tub. Love oatmeal cookies. Love snickerdoodles. Sometimes snickerdoodles, you get a little bit of the cinnamon, a little bit of sugar, um, and then wood smoke or wood fire oven. Like, that sounds fantastic to me. I can, like, almost see those being made. Harvest, cider, and birch. Plum, dark cherries, vanilla, birch, pepper, peppered woods and warm pomegranate cider. That one just kind of gives me like a, again, a plum heavy with woods and then cider. I, I can, like, I can smell that it's probably a great spice berry scent. And I know some of you guys love that. So I think if you love those notes, you're going to love that one. Spooky Encounters, sandalwood, smoked oud, spiced cherry, black raspberries, hint of patchouli, black berry cotton candy. I'm going to grab a souffle because of the sandalwood um, the raspberries, the cotton candy, the blackberry, like smoked oud, all of that sounds very interesting to me. And besides the name, Spooky Encounters, I'm just going to try it. I'm going to just go out on a limb with that one. Gone Baby Gone is smoked, or, oh my gosh, if I can talk, soft woods, jasmine, citrus nectar, sandalwood, and light musk. I'm not a fan of jasmine, citrus nectar, or musky scent, so I'm going to pass on that one. Vanilla balsam and perfect holiday. I need to look up the scents for the perfect holiday because I don't know. I like vanilla balsam, so I'm going to grab a souffle, but I am going to have to look up the perfect holiday scent notes before I order because if that's like a cidery kind of blend or something like that where I'm going to get a potpourri scent, I'm going to pass. Oh, Christmas tree is balsam fir, frosted juniper, fresh sage, and whipped vanilla. I'm going to try a souffle in this because I do like tree, you know, balsam for balsam's not always my favorite, but I, she did a lot of balsam blends last year around this time for the pre-order. And I really liked a lot of those cozy cookie cake with f balsam fur. So I really liked that note. I'm just only going to get a souffle because I'm worried about the sage in this. Let me know your thoughts. What do you think that one's going to come across? Because that one I'm I'm, I'm, I'm not 100%, okay? And here's what I'm going to tell you is when I do this list, you see I highlight, I write what I have, and then what I want in it. Then I do my list. I add everything to cart. And then I start chipping away. Then I go back and say, okay, for Christmas trees and cream, I already have a, lo a loaf and a tub. Do I really need a loaf or should I just get a tub? And that's where I start dwindling my list. So I'm, I know this is a lot doesn't mean I'm going to spend that much because I go in it with like, I'm going to put everything in my cart, see what my total is. And I have a limit in my brain. And then I'm going to start deleting based off that. So I'm going to tell you all these that I might, that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to grab a tub, a souffle in this. And then I might go through and be like, all these new scents, I'm just going to do a souffle because I've never had them. And if I love them, I can grab another souffle in the RTS. So for me personally, I am going to dwindle that down. I'm not going to share the, this at the end of this because I have to go to work in an hour and I want to get this video posted for you before she opens this or before you guys order, hopefully. Um, if you watch this or if you watch this, remember Tiffany does and Desi do combine shipping. You just need to email them your orders and then they will combine them. But just so you know, you don't get that refund until they actually ship because then they weigh your your order and your, see how many boxes it needs to go into. So even though they combine them, you may not get a, a bigger refund as you think because then you might end up getting two or three boxes. So I just want you to know that. So if you think, oh, I can combine these orders and it's only going to be $16 for shipping. But if you ordered three times and you're, they have to put them in two massive boxes, you're probably not going to get a refund. 
So just remember that. So don't be upset if you see at the end of this, you don't get any. That's why I only go in one time for pre-orders because you have days to plan this. I have already gone through this. I am, when I place my order, I will not go back into the Facebook group and look at anyone else's orders because then I know I'm gonna say, oh, I should have gotten this, I should have gotten that. I'm not doing it. So I order one time. That is my rule for pre-orders because you have multiple days to plan. Well, I mean, this list was posted. Uh, today is Friday, so it was posted Wednesday night, I think, right? Later Wednesday night. Um, so, but I don't go back in for pre-orders or RTSs because I wanna pay shipping one time. So I just, a thought, okay? Anyway, I've rambled long enough. If you like this video, let me know. If you'd like to see me do this with um, her again, um, I, again, Alexis, I liked her video. I like seeing her thoughts as well. So I hope you guys all enjoy this and I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful, blessed day. Happy ordering.